We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago White Sox and the Chicago Cubs. Striding into the box, Leori Garcia. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Lifted the other way out to left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. The third baseman. Ready now for the White Sox, Yoan Moncada. The 3 1. 77 degrees our temperature at game time tonight. Hit in the air to left. Schwarber will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Line drive to center field. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Here's a look over first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Into the box, Elo Jimenez. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. He's going, he's Anderson's going. running. Mitch misses low. The throw down he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. The three and one pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a bait. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So stepping in, Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one home. Drilled right back up the middle. Anderson scoops it up. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. And the two one. Grounded back up the middle. Anderson picks it up. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield that single. Third. The third baseman. To the plate now, oh, Chris yeah. Bryant. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. That's in the basket, a home run. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Ball three. Three and two now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three two is swung on and missed he got him. Anthony Rizzo stands in now looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Anthony. The two and one on its way. Lying shot to third and the side is retired. set for the start of the inning and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Hey we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. That misses and we're even at two and two. 
a curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Hayward to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he's got himself a leadoff double to begin the second. That is good. The right fielder, number 30. Nomar Mazzara. In now, Nomar Mazzara. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's two for three. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Kipnis. And there's one away. And here's the switch hitting that catcher that Yasmani Grandal. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. Encarnacion takes his lead at third with one away. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Up next for Chicago, Danny Mendick. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. The 1 1 home. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to get down out there and should get all the way to the Ivy for extra bases. Throw won't get him. So striding in, Ronaldo Lopez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and one, here it is. And he lays off the pitch down and away, ball two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Ball even at two and two. Here's the two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. So in now for Chicago, Kyle Schwarber. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball is looked at for strike two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Winning his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. Fastball too high, ball four. At the plate, Jason Kipnis. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And there he goes toward second. It swung on and missed the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Two two softly hit out towards short and an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. The next hub up Tyler Chatwood he'll get to take his first cuts here. And he fouls this one off two out here and a runner at second. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Leori Garcia. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. 
On the move is Hayward, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get there as he kicks off the third with a leadoff triple. Now that the third base, Yohan Moncada. At the plate, Yohan Moncada fouled away. And another foul ball. Runner at third here, nobody out. To two balls and two strikes now. Line towards center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Stepping up now, Tim Anderson. One run in and one gone so far in the center. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. The one two. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Emo Jimenez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And Contreras nabs him with a strong throw to second. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. of the third now and coming forward now is the shortstop Javier Baez a 1 1 ground ball sent back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning so now to the plate Jason Hayward and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses it's two and one hit down the line at first but this will wind up a foul ball two and two from the belt kicks and deals line towards center field Garcia has to roam straight back but he has it for the first down. Riding in once again, Chris Bryant. He hit a two-run jack in his first at bat. Yeah, man, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. And now it'll rattle up against the wall, and he is in there. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. The second for one to Encarnacion, who's got it, and that retires the side. Edwin Encarnacion now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Rizzo is there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Into the box. Nomar Mazzara. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1-1. One -one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. High and wide, two balls and a strike.
And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Next to Chicago, the second baseman, Danny Mendick. Into the box now, Danny Mendick. Fly ball right down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Nope. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Schwarber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 2. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in now, Ian Happ drew a base on balls his first time up. 3-1. And take a good look there as this misses for ball four, and the Cubs have themselves a two-out base runner. Now back. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the White Sox, Ronaldo Lopez, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Hit down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Here's a pop up now. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Leury Garcia. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good, Bill. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Victor Caratini will get the call he here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Victor Caratini. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Now Here's Here's Javier Baez. Javier. 3-2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. 
Runner at first following the error. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. The 1-1. One, one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Scooped up, and he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoer out. Here's Chris Bryant now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Hits are now even at four apiece. Scorched to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Trevor McGill takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Cubs. Number 29. New inning set to get underway. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now back. Nice Ready for another shot oh now. Boy. Eloy Jimenez. Mm -hmm. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. And he's safe. Now batter. The first baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Stepping in now, Edwin Encarnacion. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Encarnacion is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Even count, two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Two runs, five hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now and now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Fouled off. Here's the 1 and 2. He pops it up, but this will land untouched. Another one sent foul. Again, a one two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Ready now. Strike pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and he'll make it back to second, but that had danger written all over it. A 3-2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Popped him up. Contreras moving to his left. 
He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. And this is going to find the seam in right center and should get to the Ivy for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now back out first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-2 ball game. Dylan Cease takes the mound from the bullpen, and he replaces a starter that you could argue wasn't necessarily at the end of his rope in this one. I think that's a good point, Matt, but some managers really like to play matchups at this point of the game. The next guy up is a switch hitter that doesn't hit all that well from the left side of the batter's box, so I think this move to the righty pitcher is aimed at trying to exploit that weakness. Three and one to the Cubs' left fielder. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this! Into the bleachers and gone! At the plate, Jason Kipnis. Oh, there it goes! In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. Michael Kopech takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 34. David Bodie will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. David Bodie. And he hits the corner with that one. Two and two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The batter number nine. Good job. Javier. Javier. At the plate now, Javier Baez. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Digging in once again, Jason Hayward. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. in the air out to center field. Garcia is there. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Standing in, Chris Bryant. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. The count now at two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. John Carrick. So now to the plate, Wilson Contreras. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. And he 
fouls this one off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Alec Mills is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 30. Now with the plate, Danny Mendick. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Abreu connects deep to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. In now, Leury Garcia. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here's the center fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. Into the box now, Johan Moncada. Line drive to left, but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. So two away now here is the Sox bat in the, the seventh, and up next Tim. it'll be Tim Anderson. Tim. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it two and one. To two and two now. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. No, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So a new pitcher entering the now, fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander, Craig Kimbrell. To the plate now, Emo Jimenez fouled away. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three two count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Jay Spry will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Fry is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. Eight runs and even ten hits. And two errors for the Cubs to this point in the contest. 
And it's fouled away. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Hunter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in and looking for more. Ian Happ. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. The 1-1. One, one. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Fouled off. Fastball well outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he fouls this one off. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he struck him out. A 10-pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping in, Nomar Mazzara. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready with the one and one. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Crowd gets up for the three two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Standing in, Yosmani Grandal will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Bullet back up the middle. Half is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Kelvin Herrera will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Zach Collins will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 38, Zach Collins. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Jimenez. And that's the first out of the inning. Albert Elmora will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five. Albert Almora. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Heading out towards shallow right. Mazzara is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. 
And that brings up Javi Baez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The one one home. Count is one and two. Hits this one hard the other way. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Dan Winkler comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 43. So digging in now, Danny Mendick. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the catcher, Zach Howard. Standing in now, Zach Collins. And this pitch misses for a ball, and the Chicago catcher's back even at two and two. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Leury Garcia, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Stepping in, Leury Garcia. And he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on-deck circle. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So here's Juan Moncada. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The White Sox down to their last strike. Struck him out. And that'll do it tonight for the White Sox. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. Eight to five tonight. The Chicago Cubs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Trevor McGill wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Dan Winkler hammers down the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Eight runs, ten hits, two errors. They left six men on base. For the White Sox, five runs on nine hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Wrigley Field. 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.